Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Brooks here again. If you haven't already, please, please, please click subscribe down below and then you'll be notified of all my future uploads. So today, what we're gonna do, none of us plan to be stuck here inside of our houses isolated and most of us do not have instruments at our house. Even my husband and I, who are band teachers, we don't have much here at our houses right now and we're stuck here. So today I'm gonna teach you how you can do something that you, so many of us always have wanted to do and that's learn how to play the drum kit. And I'm gonna teach you how to do that using things that are already in your house, things that almost everybody already owns. So if you need to eat, which is all of us, you're gonna have these things in your kitchen. All right, let's get to it. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to teach you all how to play the drum kit. Now, the drum kit you have here is a little small for me. See, this is the drum kit that belongs to my children. Um, and the thing is, I wasn't really planning to get self-isolated, but here I am and this is the drum kit I have. So today we're going to learn a basic rock groove which sounds like this. <laughs> There was the groove, and then there was the kind of fill. So the groove is always really just three instruments. And so that is your bass drum. That's this big one. And there's a little pedal that my foot's hitting, and it makes kind of a lower sound. And then there's the hi-hat, and that you pull up your foot. The drum that's always just kind of between the player and the rest of the drum called the snare drum. And that's this one here. It has metal pieces on the bottom that vibrate. And when you play it, it sounds like this. And so the basic rock groove pattern sounds like this. Hi-hat and bass. Hi-hat and low. Hi-hat and snare. And then all the basic rock groove is, is that pattern over and over again, a little bit faster. Hi-hat, hi-hat, a low hi-hat, and snare hi-hat, a low hi-hat, and hi-hat, a low hi-hat, and snare hi-hat, a low. A bit faster. Hi-hat and bass hi-hat, a low hi-hat, and snare hi-hat, a low hi-hat, and bass hi-hat, a low hi-hat, and snare hi-hat, a low. Faster. when you have a fill. What's a drum fill? Well, it's kind of the thing when a drummer wants to show off. When someone else is singing or another instrument is playing, that's when the basic rock groove happens in the song. When the drummer wants to show off, they do a fill, and that's where the crash cymbal and the toms come in. So the toms are here and here, and this one is on the floor, right here. So you have a high tom, medium, So the standard fill that we're going to learn upstairs is high for four, medium for four, low for four, and a crash. So high, medium, low, So our total fill is... Now, let's go upstairs to my kitchen. And let's find a way for you to do this at home with the stuff you have. All right, so 
So the very first thing we need to do before we start making our fake drum is assemble our ingredients. So the first thing you're going to need to find in your house are two things to use as drumsticks. Now wooden spoons work really well, but honestly you could use knives, forks, spoons, spatulas, any two stick-like objects. Pencils even work, felts, markers. Then you need some sort of a craft symbol. Any kind of a pot lid works for this, any size. For our toms, you need a big bowl, a medium bowl, and a small bowl. So the craft symbol and the toms, we're gonna come back to later. The last items you need to make this whole thing for a fake drum kit work are your kitchen table and your chair. So what you're going to do to make your snare drum, bass drum, hi-hat situation is you are going to turn your chair like this and put it up on the table like so. Now, once you've made your fake drum with me, it's not going to sound exactly like a real drum, but what you're going to have is you're going to have the same kind of body movements so that if you ever successfully get a real drum, which, by the way, you should all get someone to buy you a real drum. Everybody needs drums in their house. Um, you're all going to be able to play the real drums. So to make the bass drum sound, we're not going to hit anything. We're just going to stomp our foot. And it's very important that it's your right foot. The reason why we're doing just this is it makes kind of a boomy sound on the floor. And it's the same body motion that you would use to play the real drum. So to make the snare drum sound, what we're going to do is we're going to take our sticks, we're going to hold them like drumsticks, our fake drumsticks, we're going to hold them as if they were real. And we're going to always hit our snare drum with our left hand. Remember, you're opposite to me, so your left hand hits the snare. And we're going to use the back of the bottom side of the chair as the snare drum. Then what you're going to do is with your right hand, crossed over, this is very important because when you sit at a drum, you're always kind of crossed a bit. You're going to use the leg of the chair to be the hi-hat. Now, the hi-hat is kind of a metallic higher sound than the real drum kit. This isn't metal in my house, but you might have a table that has leg chair, uh, that has chair legs that are metal and that's perfect. But even if it's not metal, because it's loose, it's able to resonate more. And it's a higher sound, whereas the table kind of dampens the back side of the chair and it creates a lower thunkier sound. High, lower, kind of like high hat and snare. So when I put it together, I can get the same kind of basic groove that I did downstairs. So hit pause and when you come back, you should have a chair, table, sticks. All right, so welcome back. Now do this with me. High hat and bass. High hat and low. High hat and snare. High hat and low. So it's going to be your right hand and right foot. Right hand and left hand. Right hand alone. Right hand, right foot. Right hand, both hands. Right hand, right hand, right foot. Right hand, both hands. Right. So now what you need to do is hit pause, rewind, hit pause, rewind. Do this with me and practice it by yourself a bunch until you can do pretty steadily the basic rock group. And come back once you've got that done. Alright, so if you're back means you've got the basic rock groove all the way down. So it's time to start building the rest of our drum. So we have our bowls here. So the low tom, remember, was always to the right on the floor. Well, it's not really going to work to put it on the table. We've got our high tom, medium tom. We're going to put them up here. Um, if your 
sure it isn't a thing like this. You're just gonna have to fool around. I mean, this is a fake drum set after all. And I'm gonna put my crash cymbal here. So the basic fill that we're gonna learn, and remember a fill is when the drummer shows off, when it finally gets a turn, is gonna be high for four, one, two, three, four, medium for four, one, two, three, four, low for four, and then we're gonna hit our crash cymbal, which is our pop lid. I kind of wish my pot lids were noisier. So high for four, medium for four, low for four, and crash. So say it with me. High for four, medium for four, low for four, and crash. One, two, do it with me. High, medium, low, crash. So now what you need to do is you need to hit pause, rewind, hit pause, rewind, practice a whole bunch, and come back and join me once you've got the basic fill down. So if you're back, you have practiced the basic fill. Now it's time to put it together. So, basically all a drummer does when they're sitting at the drum kit is they're either keeping a basic beat or showing off. Usually they're keeping a basic beat when someone else is singing or another instrument is playing. And when they finally get a turn, they hit a bunch of things and show off. And that's what we call a drum fill. So what we're going to do is we're going to do three bars. So we're going to count to four, four times, th three times, that's what that means, of uh, the basic rock groove, and then we're going to do a fill like this. And that's our first little drum solo, and now you have something to show off at a drum kit if you ever sit down with. So let's break it down a little slower. So one, two, start. Basic rock beat. Again. Again. Fill. Basic rock beat. Fill. Okay.